Today I'm going to show you how to make a creative birthday card with four different pictures. And so you've got the card, it says happy birthday to Neil. And the four pictures, you've got the front car, the front picture, and then the back. And then what you do is you pull for picture number three, and you do that again for picture number four. So, and then you can go in reverse, picture four, picture three, picture two, and then on the front again, picture one. So I'm going to show you how to make one of these cards. The basic idea is that you have four different pictures that you need to cut out and put in the correct spots for this to work. And so I've labeled them a blue is number one, two is green, three is red, and four is yellow. So I'm going to just use this as an example before I actually do the, the real one, just to kind of show you how this works. So. You can either print it out or else print off a blank one and just label, cut off the pictures and glue them right on here. So this is one that's from the computer just printed off that I'm going to cut out and show you first. So what you're going to do is cut along the outside, cut along this inside part and then the rest of the lines are going to be folded. There's also one piece that needs to be taped. It's labeled that way. So now I'm going to fold on all the lines. Use a pen cap that usually makes the nicest folds. Now you can see the parts that need to be cut. And there's one edge right here that needs to be cut and on the back you can see that's where the tape is going to go. So that's the basic design of it. Okay, now for the way that you fold this is you're taking the sides that's got the number one picture on it and you flip this middle section so that you see the picture number three. You wrap it around so you've got the yellow and then you fold under to get that four. You'll see that the part that says tape comes together. Put a piece of tape over that, and now uh, you've got, you can see picture three, picture four, and when you fold the metal, you've got picture two, and also picture one. So that's the basic design, is you've got picture one and picture two, and when you pull out the middle, you get picture three. When you pull out the middle again, you get picture four. For the actual pictures, there are two different ways that you can do this. The first is to crop the digital pictures into squares on your computer, rearrange them according to the order on the grid, then print it out on cardstock. The second way is to process 5x7 photographs at the store or to print the pictures on your color printer. Take the four pictures, mark them on the back, then cut them each into six squares. Use double-sided mm -hmm. tape or rubber cement to glue them to the grid, making sure to place them in the correct locations according to the card. Okay, now comes the last step. Once you have all the pictures placed, make sure that you've got the, the side that has number four because you're going to put some tape there in a second. So you're going to open it like this, uh, pull the middle section through. It's going to come around and loop around to here. Now, since you're using actual pictures, it's going to be a little thicker than it normally would. It works better if you just print it right on the paper. And then you're going to fold through once, and then fold through to here. And then again, this is picture four. You're going to get it through, and then once you get that picture together, you need some tape to tape across that center picture. Now that you've got picture four there, you can fold it to get picture number three. Fold it again, and again it's it's a little bit trickier when you have the other uh, actual pictures, and then there's picture number two and picture number one.